Well, here we are, as you can see, a good view of the, the area of which I am in charge. That's the old West Wide. You see, it is, it is beautiful down here. And, uh, but like I said, I just don't seem to fit in, so I can say. Danny G has come in to help me and to help me fit in with my people. Gee. Well, one of the main things is my accent is obviously a little bit too posh for the area. And so Danny's going to teach me the, the street language. Isn't that right, Danny? Chibo, chibo. You see, Chibu. I would always say, please may I have a martini. But Danny's already taught me to drink, as we speak, I'm drinking, I'm drinking a cider, which is made of fermented apple juice. And Danny's drinking something that, that, that a lot of the, the youths today are drinking, a lager, which is made of hops and barley and things. But, so, what are some of the words I should learn so I can fit in more with my subjects? Yo, brother, man, what are you up to? Ah, hello, brother. What are you getting on with at the moment? No, brother, man, what are you up to? Ah, see, right. Yo, brother, what are you up to? to? All right, is that, would that, does that work? Yep. Ah, I'll fit in. What, uh, I just oh. got to be, ah. Brr, ah, brr, ah, brr, 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 brr. <laughs> right. What other words can I learn? Uh, <laughs> how do you say... How would you say goodbye to someone? I would always say, well, goodbye, it's been lovely to meet you. Uh, I'll perhaps see you again at the golf club. How would you say goodbye to someone? Bui. Bui. So you'd say literally... Bui. Ah, right, so if I was going to say to you, I was, I was going about to leave, because I had a pressing engagement with the, uh, one of the royals that I was visit at the moment, I would go... Boy, I would just literally so so boy. Yep. What would I, do I need to put any inflection on that? How would you, how would you say? It? I'd say like see you in a bit. We ah, I'll see you later. Boy, <laughs> I see you in a bit. Ah, I see you in a bit. Ah, boy. boy. Right, excellent. Anything else that you could impart on me? Your knowledge of sort of. What what stands is being streaked in this area? I need to think. <laughs> All right, Danny's having a bit of a thought at the moment. <laughs> so, see, uh, what about if I was to meet a lady in the street? Because I'm I'm single at the moment. As uh, you know, my fourth wife uh, passed away. She fell down the stairs. I had nothing to do with it at all. I was nowhere near. And I, I, sadly. I did inherit all her money. How, if I was to meet a lady, say I was in a, in a drinking establishment such as this in the, in the bar at Crusoe's here, how would I approach a lady? Sort of, you know, darling, what are you up to? Ah, so I'll, I'll give that a go. Nice to meet you, young lady. What are you doing at this particular moment in time? No, 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 no. I said. What you up to? <laughs> All right. So, how you say? Yeah. All right, darling. What are you up to? Ah, um, oh, brap brap. Is that brap brap? G. Ah, G. G. Excellent. Excellent. Right. What if I was about to say? For instance, I went to one of those those you know those eating establishments you go to the ones where they sell sort of. Uh, Molded sort of beef. In yeah, bro. Into the, yeah. What are they called? Are they called are they burgers? Burgers. Beef burger. Beef burgers. <laughs> right. Well, uh, if I was to go into a, an eating establishment and order a, a, a beef burger, how would I go ahead and do that? Oh, Big bro. street. Oh, brother man, can I have a beef burger? Ah. Oh, <laughs> oh brother man, can I have a burger? Right. Okay. Good morning. Fine establishment you have here. Could I have one of your finest beef burgers? No, bro. You say, can I have a burger? Bow mate, G. 
give us a burger. Bro, bro, bro. Oh, all right, I'm getting this. It's good. One of those things. Another lesson learned. Not nearly as taxing as the last one, where I fell out of a tree. <laughs>